All right, y'all have been asking for it. I've had a couple comments. People that actually followed the channel so far uh, ask me about my seat. But to start out, obviously, I gotta roll the credits. <laughs> So, a lot of you guys have been following up with me asking me how, me how my seat is and I just keep replying I really need to do a review on how much I like it. But if y'all remember from a, a few of my other videos where I've actually put you guys up on cardboard boxes, I found this in the closet and it kind of makes me happy. So now I get to put you guys up upgrades you guys from a cardboard box to an actual tripod mount so start off let me move you a little bit closer since we're talking about the seat so to start off the seat is definitely a million times better than my saddleman itself so in the first video when I first put this seat on uh, I mentioned that the, the saddleman seat, after a long ride, you could feel like all the stitching through your pants and it would just be crazy sore after a while. Um, so, people who've watched, I did shit, probably a thousand miles on this seat right off the rip. We went to Atlanta for the King of the Beggars race. Uh, went there, no problems at all. I got my heated seat part of it hooked up. Uh, I got the backrest on. Um, on the way back from Atlanta, we ended up doing Moonshiner 28 and the 441 bypass for the Gatlinburg. Uh, after that, the uh, we went through a cold front and I had to split off from the other guys because I had to be home at a certain time. Uh, that being said, I'm pretty sure it dropped down to about 40 degrees. Uh, I took my I took my hand guards off for the the grips because of that rear facing GoPro. The stud was not long enough to fit my guards and the GoPro mount that I use. So I sacrificed for you guys. Uh, I paid the price. It got really cold. So between that, it being cold and everything. Um, I stayed in the normal riding position and what I mean by normal riding position is my my feet stayed on the floorboards the whole five hours back I didn't move them because I was I was tucked in behind my lower fairings trying to stay get a little warmth off the engine um, so that being said five hours in the normal riding position is a long time uh, for any seasoned rider uh, Anyone who's been riding a while knows that highway pegs are amazing. You get to stretch out, take some weight off your ass, push up off those uh, lower pegs, and I didn't do that one bit. Um, I stopped twice in that five hours for gas, and those gas stops consisted of five minutes, fill up, and hit the highway again. Um, I know from experience that a lot of highway riding is easier on your ass uh, than back road riding because of bumps and whatnot. Uh, like I stated before, that first half of the Moonshiner 28 and 441, that was about a hour and a half, maybe two hours of back road riding. And it was, it was a little bumpy, but I can, instantly tell the difference so this over saddleman all day long uh, don't move rider position it's comfortable at first it felt firm but right now I'm I want to say I'm probably at about 1700 to 2000 miles on it I just did 460 miles on it today I did a triple nickel uh, that video should be out by time I post this one but the comparison is just wider it's firmer the, the comfort just lasts longer you don't feel even though there is stitching on this seat you do not feel it through your pants and stuff like that uh, the heated seat functions if you're already going to spend the money on this seat i believe it's a thousand dollar seat 900 and something dollar seat 
maybe eight, and then a extra 200 for heat. Spend the extra money, and get the heated seat harness and the heated seat part of it. Uh, if you ride anything below 50 degrees, you'll love the heated seat. High setting gets hot fast, feels great. You click it down to low, perfect. My wife says it's a game changer also. Happy wife, happy life, y'all already know that. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna buy it for your husband, if I have any female viewers or watchers, happy husband, happy life. Just go ahead and upgrade them to the better seat. Uh, as always, I don't get paid for any of this. I pay minus military discounts because you guys know I'm a sucker for it. I pay for all my stuff out of pocket. Uh, so honest reviews 24 seven, I will never lie to upsell anything for a company that doesn't do anything for me. I just, I just like other people to be able to learn from mistakes. But back to the, I, back to the seat. It's great. Um, I do have one complaint though. Uh, my one complaint is this backrest. It just started doing it. Doesn't like to come out all the time. You can see they got little divots right here and it seems like the more I use this the more it 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 scores or the fact that something into the seat is what's screwing it up so I'm not too sure about that like I said I just noticed it today I don't use this 24 7 this is not always on my bike I will for long rides uh, I don't have it on there same thing with my wife. My wife is my backrest. I put all my weight on her. So if she's riding with me, I don't have this in either. Um, one thing she did say about the back pad here is that she wishes it was a little bit higher. There's not as much back support as the one we had before. Like the Amazon one you could buy. But I don't care. That's, that's my new. Um, I thought about maybe putting like a, a Delrin plastic spacer in between the tour pack and the mounting bracket to raise up the tour pack maybe an inch at the most, but I haven't done that. Um, she, she's not on the bike long enough for longer rides, so when it comes time, I'll probably do it just to make her happy. Um, she hasn't said anything about her tailbone hurting or any of that. Uh, same with me. I'm almost, I'm 290 pounds, almost three. Uh, depends on how much coffee I drank that morning. Maybe I'm 285. It was a good coffee morning. Uh, no pains, really. Um, I thought the wideness of the saddle would bother me a little bit, but it does not. Uh, it's actually, it's actually kind of nice in a way because it's just more of surface area for you to sit on and, and the cush part of it. Um, I do have one complaint about it. Uh, I guess it's just set up for everyone is just how everyone else does it. But the height, this seat, um, if you want to sit lower into the bike, I suggest looking at the tall boy from Harley. The tall boy was pretty comfortable. Uh, it's ugly in my opinion. Um, I think there may be a heated option, but overall, this has been more comfortable than the tall boy itself. Um, but if you do like to sit lower, definitely look into the tall boy. If you want long riding comfort, definitely this if you like the looks of saddleman and you're a weekend warrior who doesn't go any miles at all you just go to bike night on your big wheel bagger get the saddleman you deserve it but if you actually ride your bike long distances hours and hours and hours at a time with short stops in between gas stops and stuff i would i highly suggest mustang super touring deluxe is what i got um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know what else to say. 
Uh, so the reason why I sold my my fat boy or my tall boy, not fat boy. Did I say fat boy the whole time? God damn it. Brian Smith always says fucking fat boy. And so that's probably why it's in my fucking head. Uh, tall boy seat from Harley. Uh, it sits you lower and further back. But it's just the quality. It soaks up water really easy that I've noticed. I use my saddleman cover on this one and I haven't had any soaking problems yet. I'm trying to preserve because obviously all the heating elements in there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to be, if you guys have any questions, this, this would be the video to ask questions because there might be stuff I miss. I know their warranty is decent with defects and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, I sold the tall boy because the fact that it was ugly, uh, it didn't match the style I was going for at the time, but now I'm more into comfort. So that's why I got the gray stitching on this seat, just to give it a little splash of color, obviously on the gray. Uh, I ended up selling that tall boy to get the saddleman, and that was a regret. I tried breaking it in on our first ride to Niagara Falls before I started doing these videos and we were both hurting my wife and I um, the uh, this seat back rider backrest I like how it folds up it does fold up if you guys are are confined with space so this this is normal right so this is goes in so you can fold this back and fold this forward and it's a more slimmer profile so it's you don't have that huge stake coming off not having to be able to hide it all so that may help decisions to some people the backrest is nice I don't know if it's just a freak accident that mine is starting to screw up uh, I need to message them especially since I'm still under warranty and see what they say but I mean with a little bit of oomph I can get it out every time. Um, I guess it's good that it's not loosey goosey because you don't want it flying out. Like say if you're readjusting, going down the road, you don't want this bitch to pop out and start bouncing down the highway. Uh, yeah, um, saddle time is crazy. How long I can sit into this saddle? That's my biggest, my biggest pro on this seat. It's just the, the longevity of how long I can go on this seat. It's it's absolutely insane to me. Um, the heated function, like I said before, is amazing. Um, I think, as I mentioned before, it's about the same. This one's wider than the Saddleman a little bit. Uh, the price point on it, I think, I'm always big into sales. The seat I got, I got all this through Harley. The local dealership, they ordered it through the drag book and called them for the custom stitching. But I believe I was $1,200 in for all three pieces, uh, plus the $40 for the harness, since I do not have heated grips or anything. I believe if you have heated grips, your the harness that comes with the bike is used for all the accessories. Do not quote me on that because I know nothing. Um, but I got 22% off through Harley. Then he used some gift cards and stuff like that. So I think I paid I paid a thousand dollars for everything instead of the normal 1400 something like that. I don't know. I'm bad at math. Um, so I definitely have over 1500 miles on this seat. So it's it's still an early review. I get that. Uh, I think Saddleman says their break-in period's 500 miles. I definitely feel the firmness of this one going down a little bit, so it's a lot more cushier. I mean, you can just see how how much cush <laughs> cush. Just kidding. Uh, how cushy it is. Um, yeah. So if you've been on the fence between Saddleman, the Tall Boy, or this, if I were to buy it again. Uh, if I was a around town rider, I would honestly go Saddleman because 
if I if I had a second bike that I wasn't doing any long distance riding on, Saddleman just for the looks, uh, the stitching, the customize customize customizability, is that right? I don't know. Uh, I'd get that done, and then on top of that, I would if you were doing some sh some longer distance the tall boy just if you like sitting lower um, but as I stated before if you do any long distance stuff I suggest the Mustang all the way so um, like I said before if you have any questions uh, any questions about the seat any questions about anything in the background how dirty my garage is how much of a slob it makes me look uh, just leave it in the comments uh, Hopefully you guys like the GoPro shadow going on here. Uh, yeah, leave a leave a comment in the comment sections or questions, answers. Fuck you, I don't care. But uh, I hope this is I hope I hope this is some decent information for at least someone out there. Because if I help one person, then it's it's worth my time. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching Thick Amish Media.